guys and welcome to Petrolped. So today we are at Goodwood and I have got a very, very cool car to drive today because that is a road legal mini challenge car. So some of you may well have seen the review I did last year of my mate's R56 very, very highly souped up car. Well, this car is owned by Sussex Road and Racing, the guys who did the work on my mate's Mini. And I got a call from them a while back saying, Do you, would you like to drive our road legal Mini Challenge? And I'm like, uh, yeah, this thing is an absolute track day weapon. So let's take a good look around the outside and then the really cool thing is, I'm gonna get to, well, it's got a full roll cage, so I've got to get in it, strap into the four point racing harness and take it up the road for some fun. This should be a lot of fun. So this car started off life as a normal standard R56 Mini Cooper S and then the guys at Sussex Road and Racing got hold of it and basically turned it into a full challenge spec car. Um, it's a, got a completely forged engine, it's got the front splitter from the challenge series, it's got a full integral roll cage, fire suppressant system, it's got um, all of the, the front challenge brakes, it's got a Quaife limited slip diff. Uh, it's got some very nice coilovers. Every time I see a car with coilovers, I keep thinking I should do that to my Mini, to be fair. Um, it is, in every way, shape and form, about as hot a Mini as you can get, and certainly very, very track focused. So it should be a whole bunch of fun to drive. It, it's apparently quite a, a handful, um, and I can't wait to get behind the wheel. But I just think it looks absolutely wicked. And that scoop on the roof, um, the guys are saying though, that is now kind of blanked off because the first time they went out and it, it rained really heavily and they got soaking wet. But it just looks wicked. Um, so, yeah, um, um, if, if you want to kind of have a real track day car um, and, and sort of soup up a Mini, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I think. strapped in now the seating position is set up for this car's owner Kevin and he's a bit shorter than me so I am a bit squidged up but I can't believe he's just said yeah off you go I don't want to go out you go out you're you're, you're the one who's gonna drive it so he's let me bring it out on my own um, so I'm just gonna get used to the biting point stuff the first thing I've got to say about this car is because you're in this full race harness full roll cage and, and sort of racing steering wheel it just feels mega <laughs> and there's an awful lot of similarity you know the the controls and everything are exactly the same it is an r56 mini cooper at the end of the day um, however what is under that bonnet is something quite special i think so i'm not i'm not an engineer but this is a fully forged engine and um, it's got the challenge map so it's got something <laughs> Jesus. something like 280 horsepower it's pretty noisy in here as well because there's absolutely no sound deadening whatsoever you can hear everything all these ticks and bangs and Oh my goodness me! It's also immensely light because everything's been taken out of it. The throttle mapping or the, the engine mapping is a very race setup one, so and the the suspension is massively track focused. So it's not the kind of thing you'd go out for at the weekend. 
with the missus, but if you want to go on a track and destroy cars of, you know, much more expensive, this is the thing for you, <laughs> it is wicked. Oh dear me, there is... <laughs> oh dear me, I'm going to giggle a lot today. Here we go. Come on then. Bloody hell! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I am going to try and do some kind of serious reviewing, obviously, people. Um, but right now I'm just having an absolute blast. problem with a fully race prepared car, especially when you've got legs my length, is getting in and out of it. Watch this. So you kind of, there is a bit of a technique, it's kind of swing your legs in first and then then uh, squids down into the seat and oh that engine's just going come on rev me. Get your bottom strap on first and your top straps. But, but this is the this is the bit I love because it just makes you feel like you're getting in a race car. It just adds to that sense of occasion. You just shut the door with this canvas pull and you go for a drive. And oh, I'm in love with this car already. a bit of my favourite road, let's give it the beans. Come on baby! <laughs> it's fighting for grip but oh look at that, nose in, bang! It's just so responsive, that front end, oh yes bring it on! It's obviously got massively firm suspension so on a road surface it's a bit bumpy. It's probably not ideal to be fair. But when you get to a corner and you push the middle pedal to stop, the brakes on this thing are unbelievable. <laughs> oh my goodness me, here we go. Down a gear.
it'd be rude not to try an auto 60 test. Here we go. Oh, I duck down. Loads of wheel spin. Duck down. 60. <laughs> I think this, <laughs> this is going to take a bit of practice. Just understanding the bite point and, and all of those kinds of things. But it just makes such a wicked noise. for me which I find very interesting is that you know I've got my Mini, my John Cooper Works Mini, that's a pretty standard car, I've not really done anything to it in terms of suspension or brakes or anything. And that's pretty focused, you know, firm suspension, nice handling. The difference between that and a race prepared car is a huge amount and actually it just makes me sit there and think, do you know what, there are things I need to do to my car. Um, and it's not the normal stuff, yes a new exhaust would be nice, but it's the setup. You know, the really important things on this car is the suspension geometry, the, um, the, the springs, the, the brakes at the front. They all make a massive, massive difference. Now you couldn't live with this car on a daily basis, well you could if you were really hardcore, but if you wanted it as a track day toy, I don't know whether it gets any better. It's just wicked. This car deals with the 280 brake going through the front wheels. The, the diff is very, very good. But then you can kind of really just enjoy the bends and look at this. Let's drop this in here, look. Right hand down. Load of front end on there. Come on, baby. And this one. Oh, and then bang and then. It's hot 
racing car oily smell and it's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> and every now and again you get this kind of churn from the waistgate of the front. And you just... This thing's just a complete and utter weapon. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Minis are so special. I know there's more powerful cars out there and there's rear wheel drive cars and all of those types of things. These things have such a massive character though. They just consume you. When you get behind the wheel, you just kind of have a massive smile on your face and you come up to a corner and you go, hey, a corner, let's have a bit of that. And you whang it in and it skips around and it just feels brilliant. So what are my final impressions of this car? Well, you can probably tell by the... Oh, there's a corner coming up. <laughs> In you go, baby. Bang! <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to the serious bit. As you can probably tell, I like it very much. Um, I've just got to say a massive thank you to Kevin at Sussex Road and Race Motorsport for getting in touch and saying, would you like to drive my race prepared mini challenge? Because it's been amazing. And I have to say, I'll put their links down, down below. If you want a, a real track day toy built for not stupid money, I can't see how you'd get much better than this. You'd go on a track day and you could destroy other cars in this thing. It's brilliant. It's so quick. The handling's so good. It makes you feel like a racing driver. You know, all you want is my helmet and my full race suit on and I bet this thing's mega. So thank you so much. So yeah, final impressions of this car are, yeah, brilliant. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys, as much as I have enjoyed making it. It's been quite something else and a brilliant day for it too. But I, I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, if you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Opportunities like this come because of you amazing people subscribing to my channel and liking my videos and sharing them. So the more of that, the better. Um, but anyway, I will see you on the next video, guys. You take care. Drive safe.